the Premier League, the holy grail of English football, the grand stage where dreams can be made and also shattered. In the opening season of the Premier League, there were 22 teams that started this brand new era of English football, and Blackburn Rovers were one of them. Now, fast forward 25 years and we've just been promoted from the third tier of English football. After years of turmoil, Rovers have finally turned a massive corner as they try to get themselves back to the promised land. But wait! Venkis, the balmy owners who have caused chaos since their arrival, have yet made another bonkers move by replacing crowd favourite Tony Mowbray with this haphazard clown as manager. Can this rookie steer Rovers to the great beyond? Or will his lack of knowledge and experience track Rovers to football obscurity once again? Now with this clown in charge, there'll be tears, laughter, and of course, plenty of drama. Join me as we try to make Blackburn Rovers great again. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2019 series called Make Rovers Great Again. And we are back um, up against Brighton next, who are uh, just above us in the league. So it's a game that we must win now since you've been gone, which I think was the uh, double defeat up against Liverpool and Man City. We took on Derby in the Carabao Cup and we squeezed through 3-2. Baggio opened up the scoring on only the second minute of play. Get the ball here from Maitland Niles. And he just struck it home. And look, we look good at this point. Uh, but then Derby instantly came back into it. Made the game a little bit tense. Uh, McDonald headed home to make it 1-1. One, one. Uh, we restored our lead. Once again, Maitland Niles involved. Uh, Duarte rammed it on home 2-1. And that was just after half time. Uh, they get themselves back into it on the 70th minute. McDonald again makes it 2-2. Two, two. Uh, around about 79th minute. Adele, my Egyptian uh, striker, smashed home his first for the club. Uh, we also lost Veraldo uh, with a red card as well. When was that? That was uh, shortly after the start of the second half. After that, we took on Newcastle, St. James's Park. We won 1-0. An unbelievably late goal by, uh, who was it? Adam Adar poking home uh, in the 94th minute. I didn't think it was coming, but we got it. Then we took on Millwall at Ewood Park and we drew 3-3. Millwall, in fact, took the lead uh, through ex-rover Ackerman. Sets up Itten, who struck on the 30th minute. Uh, Piolo got his second goal for the club, which was just like his first. A very scrappy one. Uh, Millwall then regained the lead through a free kick from Rizzoic. Bit of a lag here on my machine. Domingos then set up Piolo for his second to make it 2-2. Two -two. Um, Millwall again took the lead. A uh, bit of a flat by Raya. Um, don't know who put it over the line there. And the third, again, Piotto got himself a hat-trick from attacking midfield. So we're going to probably play him in that role today. And speaking of today, it is Brighton and then Leicester um, in this double header. So up against Brighton, now these, these boys can cause us problems. And they've been, they've been there or thereabouts since we've been in the Premier League as well. They've been up there in the mix, bit battling for those European spots. And it looks like it's going to be the same deal once again. Um, so we're going to try and treat them with respect. And that means, hang on a minute. Yeah, we've got, we got injuries. We are going to play this uh, boring 4-4-1-1 formation. Just going to mix up my team a bit. We're going to go with this lineup. Uh, Raya in goal, Petuccio Toto, Miranda, Bogle, Armstrong, Duarte, Maitland, Niles, Garcia, Hazard, and Gunn. Piotto's on the bench. I'm going to make some other changes as well. Uh, Baggio is a game changer, but we got we got Domingos on the bench as well. Uh, Reed. Four, maybe flinch it. Let's get it on. Okay, quick look at the Brighton team. Rashford up top. Uh, Lee Kangan is a very decent South Korean player. Very valuable these days. Uh, Dolberg between the sticks. Yeah. Origali on the bench. Okay, quick high fives by the managers, but we're not bothered about that. Got my brewski here. Hopefully we can uh, get a win. First 10 minutes. Pretty quiet on the uh, Amex front. Check a get, get creative at him. See if that pumps any juices going i know he is i know he is we're trying to be a bit reserved we don't want to go guns blazing because brighton can catch us and pinch us hard toto to patucha oh we got armstrong come back a bit keeps it going to miranda lobs it forward and here come brighton now kangan kang kanging Oh, snapped out there by Armstrong. What's he got up his sleeve? Pass it inwards to Hazard. Doesn't get many starts these days, Hazard. Paducha. Uh, Duarte. To Hazard. He's all over the place. Slips it in for Garcia. Turns and strikes. That's what I'm talking about. Hazard, the creator. 
That is a good, good goal. Armstrong with a free kick, long ranger. Oh, quietly going about our business here, just quietly going about our business. We need it. We need some string some wins together to get in that, to those top four spots. I know this, don't forget, this is a transitional season for us. We've brought a lot of new faces in, playing a lot of youngsters, but I still want Europe because I thought we were in Europe this season. 1-0, uh, so far so good. Second half, Rovers will kick us off. Yeah, um, we've got Gunn leading the line at the moment. He's only scored the two goals. So I've got some concerns about my strikers. Obviously, we saw two big ones last season. Headed uh, by Brighton there. Don't know who what that was. So that's an area that I'm constantly tweaking with in the cups and playing the Egyptian fella at dark coming off the bench. Piotto as well. Oh, Kangin with an effort. So Rashford is off. Origli is on. Do I make any changes? We'll see after this one. Bogle to Maitland-Niles. Can he keep it going? He's under pressure a little bit. It's forced back inwards to Duarte. Just slips it in. It's a loose ball. Brighton clears up. But no, here comes Rovers. Maitland-Niles again. Where's he playing these days? Bogle back to Maitland-Niles. Inward to Hazard. To Duarte. Long range strike. Keeper was always equal to it. Yeah, Maitland-Niles playing in DM alongside Duarte. Petuccia to Armstrong. Petuccia. Goes on a nice little mazy run. Duarte with him. Supporting Armstrong. Slips it in. Garcia with the strike. Gunn tries to keep it going, but it's hacked down. And Brighton uh, come away with it. 20 minutes left. It gets to that point where you've where you got an itchy trigger finger. Kang in. Strikes. Raya did take a punch. Or got a flick on it. It'll be a corner. Rick and Berg will take it for Brighton. Headed in. Raya is brave and grabs it. I might just take Gunn off. Adar scored quite recently. I'm not going to change too much. Maybe Shinchenko for Armstrong. That's a decent swap. Hazard is dying. But I'm just going to let him plow through. I don't expect him to be in the next game. Just plow through it. Your wizardry opened up the, the floodgates for the goal. Into the last minute. This is it. Do or die. If we can survive this onslaught, which we do. Job done. Rovers, valuable three points. So, yeah, we are into the old European race, but it's very early to start talking about that. We're, what month are we in? November. Yeah, slow down, boys. And what has that done to the table? Well, we sit pretty in seventh spot now, uh, with only four points off of fifth. Just been off of the Poland job. I'm going to turn that one down. Interesting. Just straight out of the blue. No interview. Just walk straight into it. So before we get into our second game on the video, the FA Cup draw is uh, now. So we're going to plough through that bad boy. Carlisle, one of our affiliate, affiliates, got Millwall. Um, Liverpool. So it could be anybody. At least we haven't got Burnley. Flying through this now. Stockport, another one of our affiliates, got, could have Birmingham away. Still no Rovers. Plying through this. Blackburn up against Everton in an old Premier League affair. That ain't good. I was hoping for a nice, easy one. But, hey, we're going to win them all if we're going to go all the way. Okay, folks, next up for us, it is a Premier League match. It's the weird one. Up against Leicester, where we play our yellow jerseys at home. Uh, we're going to be up against one of our boys in Clark, uh, who will be leading the line. So we are going to play uh, this formation. Uh, just making a quick couple of changes, perhaps, on the bench. Uh, Baggio is a game changer. Maitland Niles needs to be somewhere. Uh, I'm going to go with the advice of Craig Conway, my assistant, and play Piotto up front in place of Gunn. Dax bitching and moaning, and he was late once again. I just don't know what to do with the lad. Um, I think he's Mr. Party Man. I gotta, I gotta knock that out of him somehow. Um, and we will play. Yeah, we'll switch like that. So we got uh, Ryan, Petucci, Toto, Miranda, Bogle, Duarte, Garcia, Stepanovic, my core three-man midfield, Armstrong, Domingos, and Piotto. Scored a hat-trick last time out. Uh, not in the last game, but previous. Um, let's go. Okay, there he is. Clark is leading the line. Little baby-faced assassin. Will he score the goals today to give uh, Leicester some points? Okay, we're in it. We're in it to win it. Come on, Piotto. Convince me. You, you scored a hat-trick in the last game uh, against Millwall. Yeah, or was it Ewood as well? So, 
You've got four goals to your name this season. And the step up. Make the step up. So far, pretty quiet. A win here would close us in on a potential top five finish. Even though there's a long chalk to go. Bit of encouragement. Just to kind of still something, kind of spark a little little boost. I'm not, I'm not, this formation is always, it's not as good as what it could be. You know what I mean? This, I just feel a lot, a lot very toothless. Because right now we've not seen a thing, 30 minutes gone. So I'm already planning for the second half to be a completely different formation because we're not getting nothing um, against Leicester. I guess they're playing a similar sort of style. But 40 minutes gone, not a single highlight. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to go for the jugular. Here we go, Garcia with a free kick. Instant, and there is Toto getting a second goal. He's... It's not, it's not been a dominant performance whatsoever, or well, it might have been, but we've, we've only had that one highlight. One highlight, one goal, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not going to bitch and moan over that. Here we go. Maybe a second one. Duarte. Garcia to Bogle with the strike. He doesn't score many, though, does Bogle. And that is uh, just about done for the first half. In fact, it's not been a very entertaining two games, has it, really? Lack of goals. So in the second half, we are mixing up a little bit, going a bit more ballsy for you, trying to get a couple goals. Hopefully not conceding too many, though. So a little less defensive, more offensive. And the one change of Araldo's on for Duarte. Just just to tweak it. Just this little smidgen of a tweak. Now we're played. 1-0 still Rovers. And Jackie Clark is off, skis. Didn't have that effect. Speaking of effects, let's uh, bring on the Baggio effect. See if he can do anything. Um, any other concerns? Stepanovic. Possible highlight here, Petuccia. Everaldo, Petuccia. Out to Maitland-Niles, who's the sub. Long-range effort is hit and blocked. Miranda picks up a looping ball. Baggio's trying to get involved. Could this be Leicester's one and only chance to get themselves back in it? Probably. The way it looks, panning out that way. Here comes Semansky. A long highlight. Make the Nars trying to get stuck in. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Maddy. Carrera. Oh, this looks worrying. Big fat. No goal. Don't believe it. I don't believe it. From kickoff, boys. Get this one back in control. Computer is lagging. Uh, don't like this either. Petuccia. Whoops it in. Oh my goodness. Come on, get control of the ball for crying out loud. Hoofs it long. We're going to lose this. We are going to lose this. Wesley. It's a difficult one now. I don't see us... Made all my changes, threw everything at it. They call me the tinker, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Come on, boys. I was just looking at the, the, the table. I was thinking, well, we, we, we went away from flipping uh, from Champions League here, yeah, boys. Unbelievable. Last opportunity, but realistically, I don't see it happening. There it is. Final score. 1-1. One, one. Disappointing. Miranda, you should be ashamed of yourself. Ah, well. Well, Monday Night Football comes to a close. Uh, we still sit pretty in seventh spot. So, technically, that's Europe. But I think that's where we finished last season. And we didn't get, didn't get Europe. They fooled us. Um, in the next episode, we will be... Uh, we're probably going to skip... Um, maybe skip just the Southampton game and come back for the Arsenal-Sunderland doubleheader. Um, obviously Arsenal big game there, knocking on our heels as well. So we'll do that, and then we'll kick on into the new year. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe. We'll be right back here tomorrow to continue this adventure as we try and make Rovers great again. It's going to be hard the way we're playing right now, but we're going to give it keep on trying. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.